Philip Schreibel, Senior Market Strategist over at RJL Futures, giving you an afternoon metals commentary here for uh, Thursday, July 2nd. Looking at the metals, they really have had a tough time. You look at gold this week, uh, it had a lot of significant events that should have made, uh, in my opinion, a lot more volatility, bigger moves than, than what we saw here. We had Greece going to a, a complete uh, balk and a default type situation. Gold price is rolling up about $9 on that. We couldn't even break through the threshold of 1200 which tells you that uh, the participants, they're just not there, or they've gone to cash, or they're looking at something else. And even though there was a lot of highlights uh, about Puerto Rico, they did make their debt payment um, of about $1.9 billion, but you know they still owe about $75 billion more. So they're going to have some challenges going forward. But... Uh, it seems like um, these problems with Greece and the Eurozone, they are not uh, any kind of catalyst or driver uh, to push gold prices up. So a lot of it has to um, talk about with the Fed. I think that perhaps when the Fed does finally raise rates, um, you know, it's going to be how many times in a row they do it that they start overshooting and it causes some kind of problems in the markets and some gyrations and you see the S&P um, start to break through some key levels of support. And I think that that could be uh, again, a catalyst for gold. I think silver, though, on the other hand, that's a more in favor metal. We've seen silver come down to a key level support right around the 1545, 1550 level. We've touched this level three, four times in the last year. We've seen a bounce from then. Um, when you look at silver, it's got a lot of different things. The nanotechnology, the industrial demand, the manufacturing, um, those have all picked up significantly here. We've seen strength in that in the U.S. So um, I think that those are, you know, the two metals to look at right now. But uh, look at the spread here. I think uh, silver prices are going to be a little bit stronger than gold going forward. Again, this is Philip Striebel, Senior Market Strategist at RJL Futures. Involves substantial risk of loss and may not be suitable for all investors.